Hello y'all, this is Beginning of the End, a mod for Crusader Kings 2 that extends the game into the 15th century into the 1400. So you will see the rise of the Ottomans, the Timurids, and the beginning of the Renaissance in your playthrough. There is a new bookmark with featured prominent rulers of the age. We have Timur and the Sultan of the Ottomans, but we won't be playing as them. Instead, we'll be playing as the Lady King of Denmark. Queen Margaret, who rules Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. Our starting realm is very large, and we've almost gathered all the pieces of the Scandinavia Empire, which will not be very hard to form with all of this territory and the Dijor land. Only 16 days into the start, and the Pope is already calling for a crusade for Thrace, which is held by the Ottomans, who are currently being attacked by the Timurids. Let's go over the characteristics and abilities of this Danish queen before we go on any further. She's Catholic, of course. She's taking part in that crusade. She has high skills and everything, but Marshall, and she has the bloodline of Ragnar Lothbrok, and she's the last member of the ruling Estrid dynasty of the kingdom. As a part of this mod, we have a new decision we can take, and that is to embrace the Renaissance and all the change it brings. The crusade is won. We weren't able to grab anything, but Thrace is now ruled by Humphrey of Lancaster. Very unfortunate for the Ottomans because they lost Thrace to the Crusaders and Anatolia to Timur, so they are now stuck in Greece. Our neighbor Novgorod is in a civil war, and because of that, while they're weakened and distracted, we will fight for a piece of Finland. Interest in the ancient Romans and Greeks have increased, and the Danish Renaissance has begun. With the Renaissance in full swing, we are going to commission a classical portrait. We have a big variety of people to pick from, but we shall pick Caesar. The artist finishes the painting. As a result, we get 25 prestige. Another portrait will be made, and instead of Caesar, this will cost 100 gold, as the last one did. We'll get one of the great conqueror, Alexander the Great. Even though she is Queen of Denmark, Sweden, and Norway, Margaret can do better, and she creates the Empire of Scandinavia, becoming an empress. The empress's husband is an illegitimate son of a past Scottish king, and he has a claim on the throne. Using that, we will declare war to put him on it. Before the invasion was ready, the Scots choose instead to land at the capital of Scandinavia, now fighting all of the troops assembling there. Scotland is now a part of Scandinavia and it will act as a launching pad to intervene in the affairs of the rest of Britannia. Checking out what the rest of Europe is doing, Naples is now in control of Hungary and Naples and Bosnia is doing quite well themselves and the Crusader Kingdom of Thrace is still surviving. A revolt is taking place in the islands north of Scotland. Thankfully, since we now control that kingdom, we can just send troops up to deal with it instead of landing soldiers at the port of those particular islands. England has fragmented with a younger brother of Henry V ruling Wales and Henry V ruling the original kingdom. Using a claimant, we will go to war for Wales to put the House of York on the throne. Wales is quite brave and like Scotland they are attacking the capital but the Empress is leading her own forces having acquired a blade of the cross. Thanks to her contributions Margaret will become a renaissance ruler getting higher learning prestige and general opinion. The war with Wales continues but while that is going on the Duke of Vaslandet and his followers want to put someone else on the throne of Scandinavia. We're gonna have to say a little bit of a no to that. The war with Mark of Wales over the English throne is now in a civil war in this game's own War of the Roses with the House of York fighting the House of Lancaster. With the chaos ensuing, we'll put the previous King of Wales on the throne of England. Mark dies, so the war ends, so instead we'll put his five-year-old daughter Beatrice in charge of England instead. To our benefit, there is a lot of wars going on against England right now, and the King Henry V is held up inside a castle trying to avoid an epidemic. By some strange happenings, the Queen has become a Fredicelli follower that is a heresy of the Catholic faith. Listening to her martial Empress Margaret becomes a Catholic once again. The war is won, the House of York is in charge of Wales, and the House of Lancaster is on the throne of England. Scandinavia has created an empire not seen in Britannia and Scandinavia since the days of the Vikings. I'm going to end the video here with the Lady King having expanded her country greatly. And if you want to check out the mod, the link is in the description as always. Very good work they've done. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe and turn on notifications.